<laughs> they're, they're like, oh, we respect Leah as a woman, as a trans woman, whatever. We respect her identity. We just don't think it's fair. You can't really have that that sort of half support where you're like, oh, I respect her as a woman here, but not here. They're using the guise uh, of feminism to sort of push transphobic uh, beliefs. And I think a lot of people in that camp sort of carry an implicit bias against trans people, but don't want to, I guess, fully manifest or, or speak that out. And so they try to just play it off as this sort of half support. They think about how twisted feminism, quote unquote, feminism has become. Their arguments, you know, in order to exclude anybody in the trans category, you have to reduce women to reproductive capacity, which is, in my opinion, extremely anti-feminist. I don't want to put those women down either. And I know you don't want, don't want to either because I see pain. I, I see pain and, I, and the pain is coming from somewhere. It's not you, though. It's the patriarchy. And how can we get people to see that? So, Eric, we've reached this point now where... Are, are you good with the sound? You were you were muted there for a little bit. Yeah, I, I was muted for a second. Okay. <laughs> we've reached the point now where... E even the feminists who say, you know, we support transgender people, we support Leah Thomas, um, we just don't think it's fair that you have an inherent biological advantage over the women you're competing against. We just don't think that's fair. That is no longer enough. Leah Thomas is now taking the position that you're a transphobe and you're presenting transphobic ideas if you don't just blanketly accept um, a trans woman being in your athletics, in your change room. Leah Thomas is not at any surgeries. He's, I don't know if he's undergone hormones, but the women who have been on his team said things were flying in the dressing room. And now he, and, and even the ones that didn't support it or that did support him are no longer good enough. And he has to talk. He's sitting there talking with another man. That's talking a woman. about how their support isn't good enough. Um, okay. <laughs> You, you, you have to completely agree with everything I say or else you're transphobic and you got this other person saying, you know what, it's not, um, this is what they said at the end, it's not even their fault, it's the patriarchy's fault and they sense pain. So they think that women who don't completely agree with everything, remember, not just don't agree with uh, transgenderism and a lot of that, they don't agree with him competing in women's sports, they must have some sort of mental trauma or pain brought on by the patriarchy in order to have a problem with this, Eric. A lot of shit. Yeah, okay. Yes. Look, look, look. <laughs> so there's a number of things going on there. First of all, let's remember Will, okay? Will Thomas was the man who was swimming as a collegiate athlete not that many years ago, okay? And then secondly, they throw out all these buzzwords. I've already forgotten. We've come so far from the clip now that I forgot, but obviously patriarchy was one. But there's another one, uh, stigmatizing or something that they say in there. So they just throw in all these buzzwords to make you think that they're actually saying something substantive, which they are not. And then, like you said, Andrew, I forget, was it Lewis or Andrew? I forget which one of you said it, but not only do you have to agree with every single thing that they say, but you have to agree with every single thing that they say, even if what they say today is completely opposite of what they said last week. Right. So you just have to continue to jump through the hoops and Leah, Leah will the they, them, Zim, Z, Zer, whatever is proving that to you right now by saying that even the people who kind of capitulated, who said we respect this, but maybe you're just I don't know, your wingspan is too long. Your legs are too long. That's why you're kicking the crap out of women and swimming. That's not enough. You have to capitulate with every single thing they say. And as we know, as I mentioned on my channel, ad nauseum. Without fail, every single time, if you take any of their talking points or any of their narratives, any of their agendas to their illogical conclusion, it will undoubtedly conflict with another one of their talking points. It wasn't that long ago that Katanji Brown Jackson, Jumanji, whatever her name is, told you that she didn't know what a woman is because she's not a biologist. And you fast forward six weeks and now it's National Women's Month and, and, and we're fighting for a woman's right to choose. It never ends. It's on so many levels. I just did a video about it on, or uh, uh, I guess we did a video about it last week. I just posted it. Anyways, we all remember when they told you that air outside of your front door was deadly until George Floyd died. And then you had to go outside and protest. The list goes on. I could go on for many minutes naming things that are in direct conflict with another one of their talking points. And this one is, is just so, I mean, they think you're incredibly stupid. And last thing here, I promise, not only does this prove how manipulative and egotistical and narcissistic Leah is, but he's not even trying. It clearly, it looks like Michael Phelps with a wig on. 
It's not even close, bro. You're not even trying. So these people need to give it a rest. And to Lewis's point, I don't think I've been tiptoeing around this at all. I think I've I've had videos removed Goodbye. from in, from from Instagram. So I had a video removed from Instagram about about a year ago, and then I challenged it. It came back and then like blew up. And that's what. Anyways, I digress. I can't stand Leah or Will or whoever these people are. They need to. They need to give it a rest. And no, no. Last thing, I promise. I promise. They constantly will tell you. <laughs> They will constantly tell you, why do you even care? But then they have they have parades every other week. They have history days. They have they have all these days of remembrance and visibility. And then they get mad when you just don't hop on that bandwagon. Like, why do you care? It doesn't bother you. Well, it does bother me because you've been selling it to everybody and we don't want it anymore. Turn it up, Jordan.